Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome to video 5 of our Supreme Commander Forge Alliance Loud Project Let's Play. Last video we just took out the south base and we took out the north base and now we have this final base right down here. And then I think that will be it for the series, at least for now. So, so what are we going to do? I think I'm going to take my force and just put them over here. I was just doing a little bit of fiddling before I got this recording started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my artillery right behind this hill. That way it has all the range but all the def natural defense of the landscape here. Uh, the AI won't be able to attack like directly even if it has long range because again uh, the projectiles in this game are simulated. They actually do exist. They can't shoot through walls or uh, not walls I should say but through terrain. So if it looks like the terrain can cover your units it probably can. So that's why I'm going to put my artillery just right up on this hill, but behind it just so slightly so it doesn't overexpose the, uh, themselves too much. Also, we do have a lot of mass being, uh, got a lot of mass coming in. So I did uh, start getting some unit production going just because I, I might as well have got to produce something here. Could even like maybe get a heavy artillery installation going. I don't know, something to do, something to do. Just uh, told these four factories to start producing. Oh, what the hell's that? What was that? Maybe that was just a fluke. Nope, that wasn't a fluke. My uh, shield just went down. Okay, who did that? I think that must have been uh, a disruptor, a uh, Tech 3 sort of artillery installation. As you can see, if I build the artillery installation right here, I could take out this base just from the safety of this, this one spot. That might be an idea, but it takes way too long. This takes 64 minutes, one hour if I were to put like one engineer on it. 61 minutes. Oh. Yeah, okay. So, he does have a disruptor up, so maybe I should rush in there with some of my uh, heavy assault bots, Titans. Uh oh, why is my, my guy? These are my engineers. Uh, I'm gonna move you in. I'm just gonna start moving them in. F it. Move them in. Move them in. Do I have any penetrator bombers? No, I do not. I should start producing them. Penetrator bombers are uh, tech 3.5 even though it's not listed as such, but due to their cost and their power potential, their damage potential, they might as well be like 3.5, somewhere between uh, an experimental and, and a tech 3 unit. That's basically what a tech 3.5 is. Even though it's not like mentioned or listed anywhere, that's, that's basically what it is. So I'm moving my forces in now, get the AA going. Can I get these guys? Okay. Looks like he's spotted my guys. He's gonna move in now. So I'm gonna start taking out those guys on their approach. Yeah, he's got artillery as well. Get my warhammers up. Get my iron fists going. Get the spearheads going as well. Or get have them take out the stationary. First. I think that'd be a better idea. Yeah, a lot of artillery coming my way now. Try to spread out our guys so we're not taking out. Oh, that's dangerous. That artillery. 480 damage. I mean, it's not a lot. Uh, those uh, Tech 3 Cyber and artillery, it's not a lot of damage. 480, but just the area effect is so large. So I don't want to bunch up too much, I want to spread out my guys. I don't want to expose my artillery. Okay, so we did take out their little response there, so that's what I wanted. This trebuchet is very dangerous, should take him out. So I do have my own little fighting force coming in down south. So while they're distracted with my force up here, 
I'll be able to sneak in from the bottom and maybe hopefully do some damage maybe even take out that disruptor right down there that's uh, very dangerous I don't want that around I'll take out yeah it's already taken out my little outpost here that's not what I want to see took out that poor guy oh that poor man I mean they're not men they're just uh, people and robots technically but yeah or a trebuchet, that you should say. Take out those trilobites or are gonna move in. Let's do respawn properly here. I think those trilobites are gonna take out at least one iron fist. See, this is a very good position to attack from because if I can get my artillery just a little bit closer, I can start bombarding their turrets here and then once their turrets are down that'll make way for my iron fists oh my gosh okay i can't move in i need to take out that artillery as much as i can Jesus, that's a lot of arties that's a lot of arty that's a lot of arty right there oh yeah that's too much yeah and some diversions in the crowd yeah it's impossible I'm gonna have to go nuclear. It's gonna have to be a thing. Don't I have a nuke? I do, I have three nukes online, but I need to see if he's got some anti-nuke potential first. I don't wanna waste a nuke. So I do have three penetrator bombers. I'm gonna tell them to stop now. Commander, an enemy monkey lord has been sighted. Oh Makes yeah, where? Ah, uh, who cares? Okay, does he have anti-nuke? I don't think it has any anti-nukes up, but I just want to make sure. I do have my engineers up here, so why don't we make some artillery installations? Or at least try to. Or actually, you know what, maybe some tactical missiles would be prudent here. Just make nine of them. But... Admit, I'll make nine of them. And then he will be sorry. You'll know my wrath. He surely will. With my iron fists. Try to get the flank over there. I don't think these guys are going to survive. They're like halfway. That guy's going to, only got a thousand. Uh, he's probably going to... Yeah, I think I might need to pull back my forces a bit. They're a little bit too exposed. Attack ping issued. Attack ping issued? From where? Oh, it's from the tank. Way too much already. Oh my gosh, it's so brutal. It's too too much. It's too much, is what it is. But that just goes to show the power of uh, artillery in this game. It's not a pushover by any stretch. I only wish, like, the missiles, you know, uh, could, like, track, just so they're a little bit more useful in, you know, this sort of combat scenario. Because right now, they're just sort of, like, a waste of mass. They don't really do anything. These mobile missile platforms. Let's see if I can, like, edge out something here. can't put my uh, iron fists back too much. They need to protect my artillery here. Looks like they're gonna move down south here. Okay, let's have get those spy planes up. Attack ping issued. Move the penetrator bombers in. Well, that's a vulture, a little tech one. Can I snag it from here? No, I can't, unfortunately. Okay, so these guys, this is a lot of space right here, so maybe I can snag some turrets, or better yet, snag some 
advance mass fabricators and take out the power. I think that would be better, a lot more efficient, smarter, I should say. Because then that chain reaction explosion will uh, do me wonders in taking out this base. Guys are a little bit exposed. Because they're on the far side of the hill. Don't really want them there. Yeah, yeah. He's firing his own missiles. Don't want it. I don't want it. Ooh! Oh, no. Yeah, he's doing his own little, little thing. Want that power. Take out that power. Okay, it looks like he does... Oh my god, what was that? Never seen that happen before. Okay, so that vulture is moving in, but I don't think he's gonna survive for very long. Commander, an enemy monkey lord has been sighted. HQ. Okay, so I think this is good for nukes. I think we're good for nukes right now. Right now. Let's, let's see if we can even this. Actually, just nuke down the middle would be good. Right there. Get the vast majority. And then we'll sweep and clean. And I think that should be it. Just gotta wait for that nuke now. Got a, still got a little bit of uh, stragglers, you know, from the, the base we destroyed here. He's still got a little bit of an outpost going on. Same with down here, down south, and over here. But I think we'll be able to take him out with no problems at all. It, it's just this one little bastion. Oh, there it is. There it is. So he's been defeated. So all his bases will go down because he was the last commander out of all the commanders. Speaking of commanders, I'm assuming there must be another calm right down there. So I'm going to scout it out just to see. Oh yes, the one nuke to rule them all. We got three experimentals now. Very strong. Oh, look at that. The skybox. Probably not a good time to uh, send your experimentals in, uh, lad. Oh, that's fine. An enemy monkey lord has been sighted. HQ out. Oh, that air crash almost took out that power gen. I really do like uh, the AI's layout though, it's nice and clean and it makes sense, it makes sense. And there it is. Alright, so this is the perfect time, see my allies moving in, I'm gonna move in now too. But he's also gonna move in. I'm gonna move my troops back, maybe get the Warhammer. Oh, there's two experimentals in that crowd, though. Let's see if we can pull back a bit. Let's see if I can take out those experimentals, the little stragglers. getting pretty close now. All we need to do at this point is take out their comm, and I think we win the game. Unless he's got more stuff in the in the in his hat. Pull a pull a rabbit out of his hat as it were. I doubt it though. I think he's pretty much done at this point. Okay, so now just attack him. You can all just attack move now. I think we've got a nice solid little attack force here. that penetrator back. Oh no, don't die. Oh, he's dead. He's done. A bunch of Hermes. I'm not sure why the AI decided to make an army of Hermes. 
But he did make an army of Juggies, and I love him for it. Oh my goodness, I love Juggies. I love them. Basically Bane Blades. Very nice, very nice. Oh, what the? What happened to all my... Whoa, whoa, I had a lot more. <laughs> they all die? Really? Holy shit. Yes, go Juggies. Go. Go. Absolutely wonderful. Love Juggies. Juggies are the best. Anyone who says otherwise is wrong. Absolutely wrong. Warlords are pretty good too. Because of that long range missile. And they got four little cannons. Pew, pew, pew. Pretty fun, pretty fun. I just want to watch the juggies. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, even though it didn't say that we've won the game, we pretty much won the game. I'm not gonna go, uh, oh, maybe, is that him? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? No, should be somewhere. I was gonna say, oh, we should just end it right here, but you know what, let's finish. Let's finish completely. Complete finish. With an encore, of course. I don't know where he is. Anyways, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I think, oh, there it is. He's done. So now there's just one more. He's probably over here somewhere. Yeah, you know what? I think I will stop it right here. I don't think I'm going to play Where's Waldo for Enemy Com. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, I'd like to thank you all for watching this series. If you like videos like these and want to see other videos like them, be sure to like and subscribe. If not, I understand. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.